a British railway legend believed steam could still be saved if it was reinvented, modernised and pushed further than ever before, steam might survive the diesel age. That belief belonged to Oliver Bullied. His answer was a radical new locomotive called the Leader. From the outside, it looked like the future. Smooth steel sides, no visible wheels or chimney, and driving cabs at both ends. It promised 90 miles an hour, quick turnarounds, and lower maintenance. Steam civilised at last. But inside, it was a nightmare. The crew were not beside the fire. They were inside it. To fit a narrow corridor through the engine, the boiler was pushed off-centre. That corridor became the fireman's world, nearly 40 feet long, barely 3 feet wide, sealed in steel with no windows and no ventilation. Temperatures soared past 50 degrees Celsius or 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The air filled with steam, oil and coal dust. Breathing became a struggle. The firemen worked alone, cut off from the driver by the length of a bus. Their only connection was a bell. One ring to stop, two to go. Sometimes it misfired. Sometimes it was silent. Power was sent to the wheels by chains running through 40 gallons of oil. On paper, it was brilliant. In reality, one failed seal was enough to turn the locomotive into an inferno. That moment came halfway up a steep climb. Oil leaked onto the wheels and brakes. One spark ignited it. Flames erupted beneath the floor. Smoke filled the tunnel. The driver couldn't see the fire and the bell wires stretched in the heat. For 25 miles, the locomotive climbed with flames chasing it from below. The fireman escaped, but the truth was clear. This machine could kill you before it ever left the rails. By 1951, the project was finished. Money had vanished. Breakdowns were constant. Firemen refused to crew it. Every prototype was scrapped. Not a single leader survived. Oliver Bullied resigned and Britain quietly closed the book on steam. The leader stands as a warning. Innovation without empathy turns ambition into suffering. If you enjoyed this story, please like the video, share it with others and subscribe for more forgotten machines and hidden railway history.